how to increase Amazon storage limit. So this is one of the most popular question asked by many of the Amazon seller because everyone want to increase their Amazon storage limit so they can send more and more stock of their FBA product to the Amazon FBA warehouse and enjoy getting good sales around the season and make more money. But as you all know that Amazon gives you the limit of the storage so you can just send the inventory of your product to Amazon within that limit. So in today's video, I'm going to explain you some tips and tricks to increase your storage limit so you can also send more and more inventory to your Amazon FBA warehouse so you don't need to worry about getting out of stock and you can just fully focus on the ranking and the PPC of your Amazon listing so you can just get more and more sales and hence make more and more money. But before getting started, I was here and I sell my products on Amazon, eBay, Shopify, ClickFunnel and Redbubble and on this channel, I share my knowledge with you people so you can do the same and build your online business. So if you are interested in learning about the fastest and easiest way to make money online, which can give you profit in your first 7 days, then make sure to sign up for my free 30 minutes webinar from the link below so you can also achieve financial freedom like me and leave your 9 to 5 job. So without any further delay, let's start the video. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I'm on Amazon Seller Central now. So first of all, to check the IPA score and storage limit, we need to navigate on Inventory tab. And from there, we need to click on Inventory Planning. And from there, again, we need to click on Inventory and then Inventory Performance. So as you can see here, below I can see my Inventory Performance of this account. And here I can see the restock limit at last. So when I click on restock limit, I can see that Amazon is only allowing me to send 1000 units on this Amazon FBA account and not more than that. And here you can see that in this account already 750 units are utilized. So we can only send 250 more units, not more than that. I am just giving you the example of this account only because this account is having only one product and which is not getting very good sales. The sales are actually poor. That's why you can see that the IPI score is red, which is 329. And here in the top four influence factor that actually influence the IPA score are very bad. You can see that the excessive inventory and sell through rate is red. That means as compared to the daily sales we are getting, the inventory is too much. So Amazon is not allowing us to send more inventory because they want us to sell all the remaining inventory in the FBA warehouse or at least they want us to build a sale velocity so they can just see that we are getting 10 to 20 sales per day and that velocity is actually maintained for 7 days. So if we maintain a good velocity for 7 days, so you can see that after 7 days, this IPA score will revise and it might get green or maybe more than 500 if you start getting good sales because Amazon will also know that this account or this product is getting sale and it might get out of stock in coming week or coming month so then it will increase that score and increase the maximum inventory limit of your account and allow you to send more stock at your Amazon FBA warehouse. So the number one and the most easy method to increase this value to get Amazon to increase your storage limit so you can just send more inventory at Amazon FBA warehouse is to build sales velocity for your product. So if you start getting more sales, your storage limit will automatically get increased. But there are some other factors too which can help you to increase that storage limit but that factor depend on account to account. Like to find some other ways which can help you to increase that storage limit, we need to check the listing of your product, the monthly sale, the BSR, the health of the account and the selling seniority of the listing. For example, if your listing is one month old or six month old or maybe one year old and it's still not getting sales. So as per the past history of your listing or of your account, we can just do some things to increase that inventory limit. So if you also want to increase your inventory limit without getting sales velocity, so you can just contact with me anytime from the link below. So we can discuss your product and your account and I can help you to increase your inventory limit so you can just also send more inventory to your Amazon FBA warehouse and get the full advantage of the festival season. So as you can see here, this account is only allowing us to send 1000 units. So I am just showing you another example of another account in which the limit has increased. So let me just open that account. So here you can see that this is one of my other account and you can see that in this account, the maximum inventory level limit is 5000 and we are only having 155 units in stock. So we can still send 4845 units to Amazon FBA warehouse for this account and which is actually a very large number. So if you are also facing this issue and Amazon has limited the storage of your account, so you can just contact with me and we can look into this matter further. So that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you really found my content informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in the future. And if you have any question regarding this video or any other topic regarding e-commerce, then you can just chat with me anytime from the link in the description below. So let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.